everyone meet our new friend. We knew that something had caused him to be so sad. He had had an owner that he loved and he didn't have him anymore, so he was heartbroken. We had someone reaching out about Phoenix. She'd seen him hanging around her apartment complex for over a year, and she had noticed that he started to get sick. Probably someone left and knew it was kind of a gated apartment area. Hey, Phoenix. He was in rough shape and was losing all his hair. Can I show your beautiful face? <laughs> Are we dancing? We're dancing now. He had been outside for a little while, and he's definitely an older guy, so he was definitely very depressed. Show everyone how beautiful you look now. Oh, handsome dude. He would let us pet him and everything like that, but he was very aloof. Wanna go check it out? All right, baby Phoenix. And so unwanting of showing affection. Hey, big guy. He just wanted to lay and be by himself. He wanted nothing to do with any of the other cats. Phoenix, but that's a little friend. He was like, just leave me alone, I'm fine. Good morning from Phoenix. We kind of just thought that's how he's gonna be. Maybe he just doesn't want to have friends. Okay. Uh, and then he met Ruby. Hey, little ones. Oh, they're tiny. We had got called about some kittens that had been born in someone's backyard. Alrighty. Everyone meet our new little nuggets. Ruby, we were very sick and weak. She wouldn't eat. And she was very dehydrated. 188. What are you doing, baby girl? And then one day she just decided to eat. And it was the most amazing thing ever. What's this, Ruby? And then she just started growing. She's a little maniac, so she was running around trying to play with anyone or anything, and we had Phoenix, he was just laying there. Is that your papa? I originally put my hand over Phoenix, like, I don't know how this guy's gonna react. She's little, you never know. He could hurt her because of his size. Do you have a Phoenix? That's Phoenix's tail! And she started playing with his tail. And at first he would kind of pull his foot back and kind of kick her a little bit. He's not happy at all. And then he got to the point where he was like, okay, I'm gonna see what this is. And then all of a sudden he just started bathing her. And we're like, what? This guy doesn't pay attention to any cats and he's just gonna start bathing this tiny little kitten. From there on out, he really started to fall in love with her. And he would follow her around and be like, what is that little cat doing? She brought out this, like, other side of him that we did not know existed. <laughs> he got playful and we are like, oh my goodness. And he got this new side to him where he would play on his own too. Oh my god, Fiend. Ruby's just watching him paying attention. It was like a completely different change in his personality. Yeah? It looks like a party. Hey Phoenix, are you being a lap kitty right now? Ruby helped him get to that point where he was happy. Once their connection formed, we knew that Phoenix needed her because he'd already suffered so much loss and we're not going to take Ruby away from him now, the only one that really makes him happy. So we are going to only adopt them out together. Ruby, you with your papa? We're so glad they found each other. Mostly we're happy for Phoenix. We don't know what he'd be like now without her. <laughs>